So vesting is a mechanism whereby a company is able to retain some of the stock if an employee or a founder doesn't stay with the company for a given period of time. The typical arrangement is to have the stock vest over a four year period and there's a one year cliff. The one year cliff means that you have to get to month 12 before you earn any of your stock to keep outright. Uh, at that point, it's 25% of the total amount of your award. And then each month after that is 148th of the award. So you have that incremental additional ownership uh, that's yours to keep if you leave the company up until the point that you get to the full 100% at four years. So the mechanical way that we achieve vesting is by giving somebody the entire amount of stock that they're entitled to if they stay for the entire four years, but having the company retain a repurchase option where it's got the contractual right to repurchase some of the shares that it gave to this person for the original purchase price. So if somebody leaves after two years of a four-year vesting schedule, the company has the contractual right to repurchase half of the shares. Um, if they leave after three years, then the company can repurchase a quarter of the shares, etc. I think a lot of people are tempted to come up with different vesting arrangements, and you could probably come up with something that's a little bit more custom to your setup, to your scenario. Maybe it's a different amount of vesting, maybe there are performance-based metrics. I think this causes problems for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one is that you have to convince everybody who gets involved with the company that this is an appropriate setup. So, you know, eight months from now, you're going to look for investment. You find investors that are interested in the company. They ask to see the vesting arrangements and they're looking at this scenario and setup and they say, well, we don't really agree that this percentage of ownership should be based off of hitting this milestone or should be based off of this alternate time frame. Uh, so that's something that you potentially run the risk of finding yourself in a situation where you're then asked to modify the vesting arrangement that you had come up with with this particular individual. Uh, the other scenario is that if you do something that's performance-based and you're basing it off of hitting certain milestones, then that calls into question whether or not the milestone was really met. Uh, maybe you say something like, you know, this uh, CTO or this developer um, is going to get X percentage once they launch a uh, beta version. And then you get to the stage where there's something and maybe we can call it a beta, maybe we can't, maybe it's unrefined, uh, maybe the company considers it to be, you know, something premature to be calling a beta and maybe the developer says, look, you know, I developed a functional app here um, and this is what was required in my vesting. So you have to come up with some really precise uh, terminology for when the vesting conditions are actually met. Uh, if you don't, then you've created a potential scenario where there's some, you know, room for dispute. And, you know, if the value of the company is big enough, then there's going to be a lot of reason for somebody to actually dispute this. So that's usually a, a situation that we try to avoid in the early stages of a company. When we stick to this convention, we feel pretty comfortable that when you get to due diligence in a financing or in an acquisition, that the buyers, the investors are going to look at this arrangement and say, well, uh, even if there was something that was more ideal from a customization standpoint, we don't have an issue with this because you, you have subscribed to convention. Uh, perhaps the founders want to negotiate something better for themselves. Perhaps in some scenarios, investors want you to unvest some of your stock, uh, want you to put in other conditions. Uh, but typically, sticking to the convention of having a four-year vesting schedule with a one-year cliff is going to put you in safe territory for approaching investors and potential buyers of the company.